There's no quick fire challenge because tomorrow you'll spend the whole day exploring the city. And you'll be using this as your guide. This is Jonathan Gold's 101 Best Restaurants of Los Angeles. It was his last list that he published before he died. Tomorrow is going to be the ultimate dining experience. You're going to get to visit a bunch of restaurants on his list and find that inspiration and find what moves you. Wow. So happy. For your elimination challenge, you'll create a dish inspired by all your experiences, things you love along the way, a story you might hear, a dish you may taste, anything that brings out the passion that you have for food. You'll serve your dishes at the iconic Union Station to 200 guests honoring the life and writing of Jonathan Gold. Your guest judge for this elimination challenge is none other than restaurant critic and Jonathan's former editor at Gourmet Magazine, Ruth Reichel. <laughs> this list covers a lot of ground and so will you. So use your BMW X7s to navigate Los Angeles and cover as much ground as you can. Get some rest. Good night. We'll see you at Union Station. Thank you. Have fun, guys. Ooh, Ooh I can smell the spice yeah. already. Oh, yeah. What's that? Wow. It smells it amazing. Smells so good. Tons of Szechuan peppercorns. Look at them, they're everywhere. Hello, delicious. Number 53 on Jonathan Gold's list, curried fish kidneys and fried silkworms with chili may not be your jam. But if you try to meet gelada halfway, you'll never be bored. This is what one of the favorite that Jonathan Go loves oh, so wow, much. Man, called turmeric. We from Southern of Thailand. This is the turmeric fish. Mm. Oh wow. That's delicious. Mm. Obviously we can't serve this at you know a walk around event for 200. But I don't think Jonathan would want you to replicate the dish because it's their dish. Like he would want you to understand what makes this special. Absolutely. Thank you. Our chefs are cooking up some things that we served Jonathan Gold when he reviewed us a couple years ago. So. Awesome. Yeah. These are cool. So it's egg noodles with a cured yolk, right? I like how he cured them in a fish sauce, too. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Have a... That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, that beef smells incredible. Perfect balance menu. Mm -hmm. I'll definitely be back to go through the whole menu. <laughs> right. You know? <laughs> Even if you frequent other local southern Indian restaurants, it's hard not to admire Meyer's Black City Spice Fish Curry or the rice porridge. I mean, I'm so excited. This is a fish curry. Wow. Yay. Yes. Jonathan loved this. You're very okay. famous for it. <laughs> yes. Without Jonathan's reviews, we would never have been in this position. Really? That made a huge impact in our business. After the reviews came out, we became very popular in this. We can never forget Jonathan God. I feel like crying when I think about him. Such a great person. Let's try and eat some of this. I think what's really nice is that Jonathan helped elevate and like made their food, you know, important. Important. It's like I love this food and you will too. I can give Ethiopian restaurants down south. Yeah, no, Atlanta's got some, man. Food time. Very time. Wow! Wow! Delicious! Oh, delicious! Delicious! Wow! This is the most traditional, the dorawet. Yes. This was actually Jonathan's favorite dish at the restaurant. It's called Minestra del Saco, which means soup in a bag. We call them Parmigiano Reggiano dumplings. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. I've been saying I want a bowl of pho, and this is like, what? Yeah. Spot. Oh, wow. wow. That's amazing. It's gold called an angelic biscuit. 
I can see what Jonathan Gold loves to bet these restaurants. Mm -hmm. They are angelic. Those are really good. <laughs> they have a lot of heart and soul, beautiful, Yum. big flavors. Oh, wow. It's so clean. I think it's important to do right by Jonathan Gold, by his family, by his friends. Wow. This is that dish that Jonathan wow. Gold really loved. That feels like a lot of pressure, and I think that it's important that we wield that as carefully as Jonathan Gold wielded his pen. This thing makes me want to cry. Like, it's so good. Rich, buttery. You may have to push me in a wheelbarrow <laughs> around Whole Foods. We got to shop after this. Yeah. yeah. Hello, hey, how's it going? How, How you are doing? you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing great. Here, let me pass these around. Here you go. You're hand making these. I am hand making them. I just want to do a good dish and make his friends and family proud. You enjoy? Oh, yeah. Awesome. This is uh, inspired by a restaurant called Lhasa, which is Filipino. What restaurants did you go to? We went to Vitlada, and oh. uh, it was really, really special. I mean, we all went there often with Jonathan. This is halibut. We have a turmeric and tomato broth with lots of chilies, lots of lime. It should be a little hot, a little bit sour. Why the pineapple? Just to kind of balance that sourness. Thank you. Thanks, Chef. I thought the fish was also nicely cooked. Perfect. So I made a masa ball soup. So wow. That's <laughs> exciting. At Rosa Blue, there was a dumpling in Brodo. It reminded me so much of matzo ball soup. And then at the Filipino restaurant Lhasa, I decided to go with a coconut chicken ginger broth. I really like the flavor that the masa brings to the broth. Very thoughtful. Thank you. Every bite felt different, felt lifted, and truly balanced. Hi, Lisa. Where did you go and what did you make? Oh, man, we went to East LA to the Jalisco Marisco truck. Wow, incredible. Like, here he is right now. We're talking about this you. This might be his We're talking plate. about you. You think she did you justice? Oh, of course, of course. Congrats, Lisa. Congrats. The restaurant that really got me was Chengdu. The Szechuan flavor profiles. So what I created for you is a mala beef tartare. It has a anchovy aioli and a little spiced potato chip. Wow. Too sweet? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. I've been to a piece of chili, I guess. Oh, no. Tom thinks it's too spicy. Thank you so much. Thanks. I got a, a mouthful of chili. Mine was kind of okay. pleasantly yeah. spicy. Yesterday, went to Meals by Gannett, and what you have here is a red berry's cabbage, pomegranate juice, and then a kitfo oil. Kitfo oil is kind of like the mother sauce of East Africa. If ever I see an opportunity to cook food of my continent, I'm going to go ahead and take it. There's not a lot of people that can do what I can do. I think the problem is the cabbage wasn't cooked enough. I grew up on red cabbage. My father was German, right? You do not want any crunch in it. In the crayfish powder, and then you could taste all these things, and you wanted them to all mingle and become one. Yesterday, we went to Chitlada. I was just so inspired by the humility and grace. So the dish is crudo of tuna, bathed with a little smoked chili oil, served with a chilled turmeric coconut broth. Please feel free to drink the broth as well. Thank you. Excellent. You have to put more curry and a little more salt. I don't know what the dish was. It was, like, it was a savory dish that eats like a dessert. He kind of fell in love with this idea of this broth, and then he wanted to do something easy like tuna. It was really out of balance. Those ingredients never said hello to each other. No. We went to Mariscos Jaliscos, Chengdu Taste, and Manuela. So I wanted to kind of take all of the experiences and basically wrap them up in a little package of love, so a dumpling. So this is a cumin lamb dumpling. So I made a roasted chili oil soy sauce with some pickled cucumbers, roasted chili, and some sesame. The dumplings are pan fried beautifully. Good job. Thank you. I really appreciate Thank it. Thank you. My team ended up at Gorilla Taco. So what I have for you guys today is a fresh duck mole taco with a lime crema, a fire roasted chili salsa. How was it? <laughs> we got to go to Lhasa, a Filipino restaurant. Then we got to go to Rosa Blue. So what I did here is crispy fried rice, beef tartare with a kimchi vinaigrette, cracked peanuts, and then a fermented fish sauce cured egg yolk. This is a, a real mashup happening. I am taking my inspiration from Mayura and their Osho soup. It is a vegetarian soup based with chickpeas. I added navy beans and hominy, topped it with herb yogurt, cashews, and pickled red onion. Great, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I felt like it really honored this challenge. Yep. Hey, Brian. Hello. I was really inspired by Lhasa. It's Filipino. So this is a beef short rib with a charred eggplant puree, fermented radish over the top, and butternut squash vinaigrette. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
Brian Voltaggio. Yeah. yeah, that was really good. Hi, how are you? So nice to see you. We had a beautiful trip to Shinji. So this is a chilled vegetable Hayashi. So it's marinated tomatoes and plums over a tomato seaweed gelée. There's a little bit of mozzarella, some poached daikon and radish, and then a king crab vinaigrette. OK. Cheese and fish, it happens. <laughs> We went to Mayera, so good. I made naan and grilled it with a pea curry, some crispy lamb, a carrot relish, some cheese, and herbs. So it's an Indian nacho. It's an Indian nacho. So guys, this is a roasted pork, mushroom, and blackcurrant terrine. It's inspired by a bit of a pate en croute that we had yesterday at Republic, but I decided to deep fry mine instead because I think that makes it much more delicious. Anthem is a big fan of head cheese. Yeah. yeah. And then this is actually my granny's recipe for apple butter. But you should bottle this apple butter. <laughs> the three of you did beautifully today, but there can be only one winner. The chef who made a really beautiful dish, and a dish that I know Jonathan would have really loved is... Kevin. It's a big deal to win, because Jonathan Gold was so miraculously important. I know what that sense of gratitude feels like, and it's really special to be victorious in a challenge that you personally connect with as much as I do in this one.